Hey guys, welcome to another commentary done by Diggity, and this is turning into a fisticuffs battle, I'll tell you. Upright, <laughs> sick game, even noted from Gauss. Upright in corner, we have Gauss starting as the purple Protoss. Bottom left in corner, we have Monk starting as the green Protoss. This is on Odyssey. Monk remaining silent, yet again sending out an initial probe. I was going to say, this could be a map that could have more interesting shenanigans on it. Is he just going to go? No, he's just sending that probe out. I think he wants to try again. Woof. Okay, this could be... We'll see if we see another three-away game. And Gauss saying, at least I don't lose 0-3. Monk at least laughing at that. But Monk not relenting. At least it's friendly, we know. Monk even calling that he might be out there. A forward pylon. So we'll see if this probe gets spotted on the way in. Okay, does get spotted, just heads up. Is he going to go for the heads up pylon again? Gauss admitting that there's better control on the opposite side. Okay, pylon, proxy pylon drop, no probes trapped. That does disrupt a little bit. And let's see if he's just going to go for the straight gateway with this probe preserved. I think that might be the case. Second pylon out. The probe very injured though, making its way back around. No gateway as of yet. There's the gateway along the geyser. A little bit more shield. We got 150. Now do we see the the move in in the gateway? For Monk, usually if you're going for just an aggressive playstyle like that, that's what you will see is the move in and the drop of the gateway in your opponent's base. Gauss very wary of it, trying to escort things away. He is going to be at a disadvantage overall. Yeah, you can see the probes just trying to play the angle right there. Maybe another throwaway game. Another probe making its way out. So, theoretical... Oh! Probe almost dies. Gateway is now up. First sell it in construction. Bring the vision back up. Looks like we are going to see a Nexus grab behind this. Some trouble. There are some... A forge being built from Monk just to provide a little bit of threat on that corner. Saying, yes, I can. If you don't take care of the pylons, I will drop cannons. While going ahead and dropping his nexus at the natural expansion. So he's basically saying, Gauss, all you can do is cheese. You are not capable of macroing under pressure or continuously building your probes. And we'll see if that is the case. Zealot, first zealot going to work against one pylon. Keep in mind, this probe's still alive. Let's see if some cannons get dropped now. Preventative pylon along the rear to make sure that probe can't just sneak back. You have to be careful doing this, though, because you can have an opponent drop a pylon and block his own probe in. A lot of probes coming across. That could be a blockade. Yeah. Oh, my goodness. Fell for it. Five probes now behind the wall, and that just shows you some inexperience on Gauss's part. That is why you do not want to do that, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, wow. So gateway being built, but honestly, with that maneuver, that might be have shifted back to Monk's favor. Monk putting on a clinic now. Nexus, two photon cannons online. It is possible we could see some interesting proxy play here. Yeah, Gauss dropping a pylon of his own. In the opposite corner, maybe to go for his own shenanigans in the main. This will be behind the cannon lines. And I don't know if this was spotted by Monk or not. So still could be anyone's game. However, Monk at the moment in the red. That forge is certainly going to fall. That was a significant investment in resources. That has been dropped. That probe's still somehow alive. In the main, that natural expansion coming online much more rapidly, though. Probe has spotted the forge along that quarter edge. I think that might have been coincidental as Monk was walking back to potentially grab that third, I believe. Actually would have loved to see Gauss cycle back here, drop a pylon, try to build stuff along the exterior. This could be trouble still because it's going to only be probes to try to defend. Monk actually with the overall worker lead, three cannons in the forge, Rebuilt on the front. The probe wiped out. There's the killer right there. I'm going to take out that pylon, which will strand that forge. I'm going to... I think Monk, despite all of the early game play, actually ahead. 
Gauss does have the option to go ahead and maybe grab two quick Nexus behind this, but actually if Monk just wanders back here, it looks like he's, yeah, he's already opening up that cannon to grab that third base himself. So this could transition oddly into a sudden macro fest. Two Zelts wandering forward. They might be able to make a run by one of them. Not quite. Take it back. Three cannons is sufficient to go ahead and blockade. Also the probes right there left. So yeah, third next is probably for Monk in the rear. Nine worker lead for Monk. And a cybernetic score being warped in. So at least, is he going to go for a fourth as well? Holy cow. This is the disrespect right here from Monk. And a fifth, potentially? Massive disrespect, potentially. He's got a probe top left. Let's see if this gets scouted. This is hilarious, because I think this was a sneak out from Gauss to take another Nexus. So sees the Nexus there, maybe not in range, but I don't think he's, he's well, is he going to spot that Nexus as well? Okay, now <laughs> with some troops out, that could be two dead bases. Workers sailing in the meantime, Monk saying this is going to turn into a macro race, proxy pylon as well. So doing all of the Protossi things. Gauss looking like he might want to go for some proxy gateways, two gateways at his main. Probe's now peeling out. I don't know that he has recognized that these bases have been spotted. Gauss still looking for a... Okay, gonna blockade that with the pylon of his own. The two Dragoons making their way out should at least get some probe kills. Monk walking back in to go ahead and scout things out. A cannon... Checking out that natural expansion. Three cannons. This is odd. Three cannons. Maybe to open up that rear temple. For later shenanigans. These two Dragoons certainly going to be able to wipe this Nexus out. Unless the probes get a quick surround and a kill. Which I do not see happening. No troops currently at all for Monk. First, uh, Sorry, he's got one Zealot to his name. But while this Nexus has been spotted. Okay, so that's 400 resources down the drain potentially. Which might allow Gauss to get back into it. Plus one weapons being upgraded. Cannons are here. Are they going to start working on the temples? The next question. That probe getting taken out. Both the simulators being warped in for Gauss to get some extra gas. So this gone. There is mining now happening top left. And I don't know whether that Nexus... I think that Nexus was spotted. Slew of gateways now for Monk. He's got a huge worker lead down on supply though. Four Dragoons walking their way out. I think they might have spotted these cannons. Maybe? No, maybe not. So walking their way back out through the map. Some additional cannons to protect that front. Four gateways in the main. However, with the 10 worker lead, and potentially we'll see if it ends up being three bases. It's four bases technically versus two right now, but okay, yeah, I think that was spotted. As the Dragoon's gonna wipe out the upper left, but that's three, still three bases up versus Gauss's one. This is going to be minus two workers, three workers, which just about evens things up, but it's still three base saturation comparatively. 10 unit count lead that might shrivel up very rapidly with the amount of gateways that are being fielded, plus the Nexus, or sorry, the, the Temple being assaulted and that might open up a shot at that third nexus however gauss does seem to have a sufficient defense force to engage us i don't know if this has been spotted or not but that leaves more territory for him to defend okay now finds the cannons that still is a big chunk of health out of that temple wall so he's gonna have to keep an eye on it and one more probe, which almost, that evens up the worker count. However, the third base has been online much longer for Monk. But you have to deduct all of the accrued cost from the early stages of the match. Seven gateways. Actually, is that eight? Eight gateways. Out there for Monk. Versus, so double the production right now. However, Templar Archives 
online. A Stargate back here from Gauss. And a slew of Dragoons at the exact wrong moment as there's plenty of Dragoons now out for Monk to engage as well. So Gauss might be donating troops on the front. We also do have the robotics facility, the observatory being constructed, and plus one armor being upgraded as well. Plus one weapons is already finished. So these troops also hit harder. Pylon spotting bottom right. Looks like Monk gonna wipe that out. Looks like they're what? So yeah, Pylon blockades on all corners to make sure additional Nexus can't be snuck. This is now turning into serious game mode. The production advantage is massive for Monk. Overall supply lead behind in workers now. His own Citadel of Dune being constructed. I would not be shocked once the first observer is out if he makes a move towards that temple line to wipe out that third. And again, more checking. You can see just the constant scouting from both players to make sure that a sneaking Nexus hasn't been, hasn't been grabbed. They're both tired of each other's Protoss antics, it looks like. Psystorm being developed here for Gauss. That could be a differential, but I think we're going to see a quick move to Arbiter Tech, which three base Protoss Arbiter on Odyssey versus another Protoss. That could be strong, particularly with Observer Sniping, but I don't know all those that all those pieces are going to be in place in time to deal with this exact move out right here. Massive army for Monk, and Gauss cannot just pile into his natural expansion and expect a defense there because that temple has been heavily contested. Plenty of Psy Storm once it's upgraded, but Psy Storm not there yet. And again, Monk can back off from this natural expansion and re-engage that temple line, still get a third base. Big army out that is going to be potential Psy Storm bait. Second Observer going to go ahead and check out the situation, seeing a lot of those units. I don't know that he's going to dedicate to it. That's kind of a giveaway. Right there, Arbiter halfway constructed. Zealot's now working on that temple line. A probe sacrificing itself to go ahead and check the edges. Single cannon to defend against this. This amount of Zealots will be more than enough, particularly with Zealot leg speed and plus one weapons and plus one armor to engage. Gauss making his way out, Psy storming units at the front. Split attack, he needs to protect those High Templar. Wow, okay, so apparently it's stack temples because these temples, the temple's not taking damage somehow. I don't know if that's a glitch or what. Is it only Dragoon unit? Or does it, or maybe it's there's the stacking and it's only one of the stack that's taking damage. I thought it was a full stack. Or maybe there's some bugging. Yeah, okay, there's a underneath temple. There's multiple stack temples. I thought it was just one. So now the actual temple taking damage. I wonder how many stack temples it is. But a huge army cycling across to potentially engage a photon cannon warping in. That's going to get crushed. And engagement now on the high ground. High Templar moving in. This could be a game shifting maneuver for Gauss if he can just land the Psy Storms. One Psy Storm over that right hand phalanx. Second Psy Storm mostly whiffing. And Monk able to get the rest of the troops in to get a full surround now, pinning that army in. And now it is outnumbered, still able to get some additional size from, but Monk again with a huge advantage can get right back to work on that temple. And Gauss doesn't have the troops to move out. He does have an Arbiter, but doesn't have the troops to engage otherwise. Gauss now trying to take possession upper left. Is that Dark Templar making its way through? I thought it was just one temple, but apparently, okay, it's an actual temple stack. So now that's being worked against. Shuttle speed being upgraded. Third base. Probes have been built there, but they're not quite up and running. There's the last temple. So that third is exposed. The troops completely out of position for Gauss to defend this. And that's going to be a downed Nexus, most certainly. Just can't get here in time to respond, which is going to give the solid economic lead to Monk. Three bases versus two. And in not too long, that main is going to get mined out. And there haven't been a lot of prospects as far as ninja bases to take, which has been Gauss's typical maneuver in these matches. Dark Templar able to get some free shots. The Observer making its way out. That's also Monk in the red somewhere, somehow, maybe because of uh, 
pylon out in position. That is going to give some time for Gauss to at least spend the minerals he's got. But you can see he's just limping in resources where Monk has a bank to work with. Also a 10 worker lead. High Templar moving out to go for some Psy Storm drops as well. Dark Templar working on that pylon bottom right. Monk once again checking top left. Only a single cannon morphing in there. And Monk might just grab his fourth Nexus bottom right. Fanning out. This is a very droppable natural despite all of the cannons. Or is he just going to allow the High Templar to be here to provide defense with the cannon line? That also might be the play right at this stage. Either way, Gauss has to get something accomplished. He does have an Arbiter. I don't know if he's he's upgrading Stasis right this second. <clears throat> a recall could be magical. But behind in upgrades, sizable, and I just missed it. Sidestorm drop at the natural, wiping everything out. Only 24. I think that is the GG moment right there. Losing probes at the natural. We did see a recall. However, wiping out the natural otherwise, so almost simultaneously. A recall gonna wipe out the third here so at least there's some blood strike on both sides i don't i can't ever remember a recall in pvp leave it to gauss putting monk back in the red however he is going to immediately be able to retake that nexus with that expansion bottom right as soon as he has an observer in place might be able to stage some troops off what's just being produced to attack and clear things out. Dark Templar have managed to make their way into the main. No observers to deal with them. The Arbiter mostly providing support to just allow the units to spawn. Finally, the Observer making its way out. The Dark Templar completely surrounded, but they did significant damage. This is just bloody both directions. Turret wiped out on location, so that's a potential fourth location. And it looks like that is going to be a Nexus warping in there. Probes transferring from what was the third at that rear protected natural down to the bottom right. And Gauss down to three gateways. His main just about mined up, and he doesn't really have prospects on grabbing an additional base. I'll try to keep an eye on additional recalls. As there is enough energy to maybe execute a recall, if there was a magic, however, there's an Archon waiting to either go for a Maelstrom or, I don't know, maybe even Mind Control, which would be a reverse Uno card on that Arbiter. This is also quite a lot of territory to defend for Monk, so there are... There are holes... Monk trying to draw his army back. Keep in mind, this army hits much, much harder. Never mind, upgrades have been e equalized somewhat, so just one armor lead. Monk not keeping up with the upgrades, eating some Psy Storm as well. Peeling a little bit of that army, still a massive worker lead for Monk. That 9 o'clock location is somewhat exposed. Archon's now moving forward with Observer. Psy Storm on the opposite side. A Stasis catching a lot of those troops on the front, however. And the rest of that army staggered, trying to make its way around. Let's see if an Arbiter gets mind controlled. It's waiting in the wings. More size Storm on the Observer, which is critical, because now these units are permacloaked effectively, and a lot of units under stasis as well. They're going to reposition to the 9 o'clock. And Monk doesn't have a lot of troops to follow this up. And he's running out of detection on the cannon line. The probe's trying to flee. It looks like the unit's going to pull out of position. Still hunting for... Okay, it looks like a probe was detected right there. The probe's making their way back, but they're going to get caught. Eat a little bit of fire on their way across, but... Another storm drop lining up, and another nexus grab at the 3 o'clock. For Monk, still two bases for Gauss. He cannot afford to lose the probes at the natural. And lose the probes he does. Also loses a High Templar and takes some damage on his Reaver for the effort, trying to open up that Zelnaga Temple. But right now, Monk, a bunch of supply ahead. 
has several nexus to work with can resaturate he just needs to resaturate probes at some location his natural however is mined out still some resources left at the main bottom right's mining that three o'clock base might get wiped out momentarily as gauss is walking towards that location we also could see nope no energy for a recall however the turret going to be opened up from the opposite end so three o'clock base Let's see if that's going to be a cancellation. The shuttle making its way back across, though. A High Templar in tow. Another drop. And another side storm catching even more probes. 19 workers. Feels like that 20 worker count has been locked in for Gauss for quite some time. The Arbiter should be able to take out that shuttle if they just take the prerogative to do so. <clears throat> shuttle opposite side at risk of mind control. Looks like it's being chased down. Has two Reavers. And it's compliment there the arbiter getting feedbacked side storm over the dragoon lines but dark templar there and no observer once again for gauss so loses high templar some beautiful storms from monk he's still got that third base there but it is remaining fallow as no probes are saturating it and dark templar finally going to get taken care of as the observers limping their way in Dark Archon pocketing to the corner, maybe to feed back any sort of troops that make their way. Nine o'clock resaturated for Monk. He's still running on resources where Gauss just finally, it looks like transferring some probes to that rear third. Huge supply lead for Monk. Kind of toying with his opponent at this stage. Crashing in again, that temple was gone, so that Nexus is going to get wiped out again. The troops out of position to engage. Maybe he could attempt a base race, but that would be a losing scenario as well. Because you have caddy corner bases to play grill style with. And also, if he tries to target top left, he could end up getting that army trapped. Archon finds the army midfield. Monk on the hunt now. Some Zealots streaming across. Level 3 weapons, by the way. Completed. Some nice Psy Storm on those troops, but it's just too few, honestly. For Monk, and he's just getting ransacked with what few troops he has left. 52 supply and dropping. There is GG. Good luck in the next round. Cheese will get you far, but eventually it does catch up. However, it was 3-1 in Monk's favor. An exciting series altogether. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Give a like and a subscribe. I appreciate all of your viewership. Thank you for listening.